new crime scene technology may be implemented soon for local law enforcement agencies. See how the 3D recreations will help catch killers. Now, your number one 11 p.m. newscast. Channel 8 Eyewitness News in HD. Thanks for joining us. 3D crime scene technology helped solve one of the most mm. horrific crimes in recent memory, and it may soon be in the hands of local police. Yeah, you'll remember the shootings almost a year ago now at an Amish school in Pennsylvania. Ten girls shot, five of them killed before the shooter turned the gun on himself. Now we're learning more about what happened behind the scenes. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Ashanti Blaze had a chance to speak with a man at the helm of that investigation, and he told you there's a lot to learn from this case. Oh, yeah, you sure yeah. did, Dave. The commissioner of the Pennsylvania State Police Department says not only did his agency learn a lot from this tragic incident, he's now hoping other police agencies worldwide will be able to do the same thing. The scene was unforgettable, tragic and shocking. The victims, the most innocent you can think of. Ten little Amish girls shot inside this Amish schoolhouse. And tragically, five girls lost their lives. All the work of a calculated killer who held Pennsylvania State Police at bay. Pennsylvania State Police Commissioner Colonel Jeffrey Miller was there that day, and even now, almost a year later, he still thinks about it. I get choked up every time just because of the community. I know these families, and we know these, these victims, and their brothers and sisters. He's bringing that experience here to Las Vegas at the International Homicide Investigation Training Seminar to share with other police agencies. And to look at um, what was in the mind of a, of a person like this who would take the lives of so many uh, innocent victims and, and kind of how we process the scene. So this is the same technology that was used at the Amish school shooting scene. And Pennsylvania State Police were the first police agency to use this 3D scanner to help them with crime scene investigations. And instead of having to use pocket tapes and making simplistic crude two-dimensional measurements and diagrams, they can come in and essentially digitize the entire scene. Here's how it works. If this were a real crime scene and I was the victim, this green laser would sweep over the area, scanning everything in its path. You see the laser sweeping over the bullet casings. In minutes, you've got a 3D rendering of a crime scene. They can capture and measure the scene exactly the way that the first responder found it. An invaluable tool once used in an unforgettable investigation. It's much better if you can draw on somebody else's experience and learn from that. That way you'll be better prepared when it's your time to, uh, to actually respond. Even though he hopes it's not a scene anyone should have to see again. Metro says if this new technology was able to help one police agency, then it's definitely something they will look into bringing into their department. The Nevada Department of Transportation already uses this uh, system, Dave, for mm. surveying and for engineering. Impressive. Is it expensive? Very, uh, it's kind of expensive, sure. 145000 to 150000 but not as bad as the uh, overall. Put it in next help. year's budget. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Ashanti.